hi everyone welcome back to my channel um this video is going to be about my favorites for the month of um may so um first i'm going to show you the two books that i actually borrowed from the library and i've been using them to give me ideas on books to borrow and um one of them actually has like activities to go along with it so um the first book it's called playful reading and it is by carolyn munson benson um and then this book pretty much like this is a book that we just took out of the library and it's called somebody loves you mr hatch um so it tells you the title it tells you the author and then it tells you what to do um it'll tell you a little bit about the book it tells you um what to you know like before you read it um after you read it um if you're out and about an activity you can do um and then it also has like little crafts so for some of the books like this is a different book it's the key to my heart um and that's actually the book that we'll be reading next uh week and um it tells you a little bit about the book and then this is the craft that we'll be doing so you're using pretty much like cam lids and creating a keychain so um it's a really good book it has a lot of books in here a lot of titles a lot of ideas and things you can do with your kids so i like that book um the next book is the read it out loud handbook very good book and that is by jim trellis however you say that and this one is actually a treasury of a lot of books um read out louds um books that have no um words to them and they are all in the sections that it needs um like different sections depending on what the books are about um so for instance these are um read out louds and it'll tell you like the title of the book it has um the author of the book um the grades that the book are good for like this one's make way for ducklings by robert mccloskey and it tells you his grades from pre uh, school to grades two and then it tells you something about the book it does not give you like any activities to do with the book um but at least if you read what the book's about um you can do like i do where i google pinterest you know things like that to just find something for fun depending on what the book's about the other thing is this folder that i made and um this is from the same um place where i got the uh testing that i do at the end of the year so i'll have a link for that and um it's my list of books so what i do with this is i print it out um levels one through where um it starts for level two and um the point of this is for me to go to the library and just search um let me show you let me show you a little bit closer it's just to um for me to be able to look for books for him to read um depending on the level so i know he's um like almost at level three in some books but i want to get through the whole list like i my goal is to go through the whole children's department of books that we have for him to read um and just collect the list of books and you know until he gets older so he can see all the books that he's read and all the activities that we have done for fun so um i will be highlighting the books that he has already read from here and um just keeping track and the ones that are not highlighted are the ones that we'll continue to get um in our library we're only allowed uh 20 books per card so um we all have cards so i usually max them out and um that's what we'll be doing i'm trying to get our library to get like a homeschool program where there's no deadline pretty much for us to bring back our books or um they order more books um more towards what we'll need curriculum and things like that so we'll see how that goes but anyways i just wanted to share what my favorite three things were for the month of may and thank you for watching if you have any questions just leave them down below bye